Hi everyone, I'm Alex. I'm a mom and owner of Empowering the Core, which is a boutique with baby bedding. As some of you may know, I've started Empowering Mom initiative. That's the initiative when I interview moms that were kind enough to share with you some experience and knowledge. Based on these interviews, I'll be creating videos that I hope you're gonna find very useful. So today's video is eight tips on how to get ready for baby emotionally. Tip number one, attend birth classes and after birth baby care classes. So let's start with labor. Educating ourselves is extremely important because it's just crucial to minimize worry. Attending birth classes uh, will help you to prepare your birth plan. Well, I would call it birth outline because let's be honest, we are never sure what's going to happen during the labor. But if you have your birth plan in place, it will allow you to handle deviations from the initial plan much better. Uh, so other than that, I would recommend visiting the place when you are planning to give birth to your child. Tip number two, get ready that the relationship with your partner might change. So all of you agree that having a baby is extremely stressful and both of you are trying to adjust to a completely new role. So you should have lots of understanding to yourself and to your partner. Uh, hopefully you're gonna come out uh, stronger from it as a couple. And let's remember, for a baby it's best if you work as a team. Tip number three. You should know that postpartum depression can hit you like a ton of bricks. So there is lots of pressure on you. And also the sleep deprivation doesn't help. Nowadays we talk openly about depression but there are still some women that are afraid or ashamed to admit they have it. One of our uh, empowering moms, Amanda, she struggled with depression and in her interview she writes, postpartum depression and anxiety are so real. And if you are feeling the slightest bit off, talk to someone. And I agree with her 100%. We shouldn't be afraid to ask for help and also reaching out to a counselor to talk to someone. Um, asking for help doesn't make you weak, it makes you just human. Tip number four. Self-care is super important. So I would recommend for you to ar arrange the days so the baby duties are not only your responsibility. Try to engage your spouse a little bit more, uh, ask family members or even consider hiring a nanny. It's normal that you need a break and during that break do something to nurture yourself like meditation or yoga or going to massage, something just for you. Um, remember that we should really live by the rule um, happy mommy means happy family. Tip number five. On the beginning, you won't be able to do much, but just take care of your baby. So the society's uh, pressure of getting back to shape as quickly as possible might stress you out. You should know that it's okay to live in a bedroom for two months. So lower your standards when it comes to appearance, when it comes to house cleaning, when it comes to homemade meals, um, all of that can can be done later now it's just time for you and your baby so ask for help as much as possible sleep when baby sleeps order takeouts and just enjoy this time because it's not gonna last forever tip number six have a social network one of our empowering moms Alison says find yourself a good mama tribe Find other mamas that you can relate to and feel comfortable around. Call, text with any and all questions. Reach out. It can be very overwhelming, but having other mamas to lean on makes the hard moments a million times more bearable. 
you should reach out to other moms and join groups either online or groups of moms when you guys can meet in the park and just share some experiences um, they're going through the same issues the same problems as you do so having a community having a mama tribe really helps you to uh, go through the problems and just make it you know easier than going through all of that alone tip number seven trust your gut I remember my prenatal yoga teacher told me once that you are the best mom for this baby and there is no one else on this plan planet that can make it better than you do and I felt really touched by these words because sometimes as new moms we feel very insecure with so many opinions around us um, we sometimes might, might get confused what is really the right thing to do but remember that deep down in your gut you really know what's best for you and your family so you never have to ask for permission um, to do something what you think is right tip number eight enjoy this time so yes this time is exhausting but it won't last forever so remember to take lots of pictures lots of videos and enjoy the moment i hope you enjoyed these tips and i'm very excited to make more videos like this for you so if you like that give me a thumbs up also let me know in the comments if i missed anything and you would like to add something i'll be happy to read your comments and I wouldn't be myself if I didn't invite you to my uh, baby boutique Empowering Decor. You can find a link in the description box. And um, yeah, see you next time. And I hope it was useful for you. Bye.